there, this is John from MySolarHome.us. My latest video is about Tesla Solar and the Lee's solar panel business. So Tesla and Elon Musk, uh, about a year back, they completely overturned the solar panel business. And it's been a quiet revolution. Um, some of you may not know of it because it's being done on the web, online, and there is not so much of the usual brouhaha associated with um, Elon Musk projects. But mark my words, it's one big movement that's happening. What Elon has done is that he has disintermediated the solar panel industry. He's removed a bunch of people who are selling panels, going to your homes, knocking on doors, and forcing you to buy panels whether you want them or not. Instead, he's bought it all online, so if you're actively looking for solar and you're searching for solar panels, you'll likely land up on the Tesla solar panel website. And bingo, that's where Tesla starts to shine. They build products which are extremely, extremely well-priced. You pay really rock bottom rates. Local solar installers are having trouble competing with solar with Tesla. And the other big companies like Sonova and Sunrun they're really far away in terms of pricing and product offering. So today's video is going to be about the rental Tesla solar panel offering, which is why, which is basically a solar lease, and I'll compare it with the other solar leases in the market. The Tesla solar lease or the solar rental, as they call it, completely blows away all the other products. Uh, everything is great about it except for one little thing could turn out to be a big little thing, so hang on, I'll, I'll be telling you about that. And I'll tell you about what, how they compare with the other leases, the Sonova and the Sunrun leases, what to look for if you're planning to buy one of those two leases, how to make sure you get the best deal from those two companies. And finally, I'll make a, rec a recommendation on whether you should go for a solar lease or for a solar purchase. So hang in there. Let's start with uh, the Tesla solar panel or the Tesla solar lease. Now, if you go to the Tesla website, uh, if you just search for Tesla solar panels, you'll be there, bingo. And you'll see that they have two options there. One's a rental option and one's the purchase option. Today, this video, I'm going to talk about the, uh, the, the rental option. I have another video on my channel uh, on the, the purchase option. So how does the Tesla rental work? Tesla rental has completely revolutionized the solar lease. The solar lease typically, as sold by the other vendors, is either a 20-year product or a 25-year product. That means once you get the panels on your roof, um, you don't have to pay anything out of pocket to get those panels on your roof. They just do a credit check on you, and if you if they if the bank says, okay, hey John or hey XYZ, you've got good credit history and you can make the monthly payments. Tesla or the solar company will come and put panels on your roof. All you have to do is pay them a monthly rental fees. And that rental fees is usually lower than the current electric bill that you're paying. So the, the, the offering to you is, hey, hey, homeowner, if you're paying $200 a month for electric right now, why don't you move, take on a solar lease, I'll put panels on your roof. And instead of paying that $200 to the, solar, to the electric company, pay me 150 bucks a month, say 50 bucks. Now, a lot of people might come to you or a slick salesperson might come to you and they might try and, and sell you something and tell you that you're going to get 50% savings. It's bull. The maximum that you can expect to save on your electric bill from solar or from a solar lease is 30%. If you're doing between 20 and 30 percent, be happy. If you do anything more than that, outstanding. So what Tesla has done is that they have completely removed the time factor in this. There is no 20-year or 25-year program. You can buy it, cancel it anytime. They just have a simple cancellation fee of 2,500. This is fantastic. All the other companies have 20-year and 25-year leases, and if you cancel them. You have huge penalties. You have to pay the rest, the remaining balance remaining on that lease. Usually it's many, many thousands of dollars. That automatically in my mind completely negates the reason that you're going to buy solar panels or, or lease solar panels. 
if you end up selling your home, you could be in big trouble. The, the next homeowner might not want solar. Or even if it does want solar, the size of your solar system might not meet the needs of the next homeowner. Remember, same home, two different families can have wildly different usage. So the 150 bucks that you might be paying for your lease might look great to you. You're saving 50, 60 bucks, for, but for the next homeowner, might be too much. So that's where it makes sense to have a, a lease which you can stop. Tell Tesla 2,500 bucks. Take it with the panels, you are good to go. The other great thing about the Tesla solar rental program is it's extremely cheap. Compared to everybody else, it's the best prices. They have four sizes. That is a problem. You have to choose one of those four sizes, but you know you can't have everything. The smallest size is a 4.08 kW system. A monthly rental is 50 bucks. 8.16 kW, 100 bucks a month 12.24 kW 150 bucks a month and a 16.32 kW is 200 bucks a month these sizes they depend on how much electric you use starting from 100 150 200 to 300 essentially so designed so that if you pay Tesla 150 bucks your electric bill earlier would have been around 200 bucks so you were saving 50 bucks a month the Tesla pricing is fair. Like I said, you'll save about 30% on your electric bills. The other solar companies, Sonova and Sunrun, they offer the same product, but they might give you different sizes. They customize it for you. And they might give you prices. The usual prices of the panels from Sonova and Sunrun are a good 20 to 30% higher than Tesla's prices. So if you're planning to go with those companies, negotiate, negotiate, so that's what's great about the Tesla solar panels. They, there's just one thing which is wrong with their program, and that you have to look out for. It's the roof. If you, if you go ahead and get the Tesla solar lease program or the solar rental program, and they come and evaluate your roof, and they find out if your roof is not good enough, they're going to suggest that you should replace your roof. And that's when they suggest that they, you do it through their contractor and seems like a reasonable deal. The only thing is the Tesla roof contractors are humongously expensive. So before you are going to get a solar lease, go have a roofer look at your roof and if it looks like it needs a replacement, get it done yourself. Do not ask Tesla to do it. They're going to overcharge you for it. So that's the only bad thing about the Tesla solar lease. Now the other solar companies, they might give you a good deal on the roof, but their prices are usually much higher than Tesla. So benchmark your prices. If you're going to buy something from Sunrun or Sonova, benchmark against the Tesla prices. If Tesla charges 100 bucks for the same system, your price from Sonova or Sunrun should be in the same ballpark, maybe five, six bucks here or there. And it's a it should be a linear thing. Since Tesla doesn't have the same, have the same sizes, you know, the fixed sizes, Sonova or Sunrun might give you a more customized size that, hey, you don't need a 8.02 kW system, maybe you need a 10 kW system. Fine, that's good. Go for a 10 kW system. Make sure they're pricing you right for the 10 kW system. The 8 kW from, from uh, Tesla is for 100 bucks. If they had given you a 10 kW, they would have charged you about 122 bucks for it. You know, just simple linear math. Do the same calculation. Is the other solar company, Sonova or Sunrun, giving you at 122 bucks or are they charging you 150? So make sure you get a good price. There's nothing much you can do about the term of the lease, 20 or 25 years. So the 25 year term is something which I seriously have big problems with because if you're planning to leave your home or sell your home, it becomes a big problem. All the solar companies will tell you that there is no lien in your home. And that's true. They, they don't put a lien in your home, but they do put a lien on the solar system. And that effectively turns out to be a lien on your home. Nobody's going to buy your home. There's a lien on your solar system. So at the time you're selling your home, you either have to pay the lease company a humongous fees, or you've got to convince the new homeowner to buy your lease system and pay the same lease payments. And that usually is difficult because different families, like I said, have different usages. So you might end up with a situation where the new buyer doesn't want those solar panels and you have to pay extra to get them off your roof by a big 15, 20, maybe 25 grand. 
So that sometimes puts you in, in great trouble. So I suggest if you're going, if you're looking at selling your home, you should actually look at maybe going the purchase route. Purchasing your solar system, even doing a finance through a bank loan is so much better than a solar lease. The only thing which compares or is in a similar ballpark is the Tesla solar lease because they're so cheap and they don't have any of these 15, 25 year timelines associated with them. So that basically is the, the, the lay of the land in terms of solar leases. Oh, the other thing I forget, if you're buying a solar lease from Sonova or Sunrun, make sure you do not get an escalator. All these companies suggest that because of inflation, that the monthly rate that you pay for solar electricity will go up by 1.9% or 1.5%. Or it looks very small, but over time, it builds up to a big amount. Tesla doesn't have any escalator. They have the same price whenever you, every year, look for the same thing. Tell them you want a zero escalator. You do not want increasing prices. It is going to come back to bite you really badly. So that, in a nutshell, is the Tesla solar panel and the solar lease business. If you're planning to do the solar lease, I'd only advise you to do it. A, go for the Tesla solar rental, or B, if you're going for any of the other companies, negotiate, negotiate, negotiate. Most, the best thing I can tell you is do not go for a solar lease from, uh, if you can avoid it, go for a purchase, finance your system. Best of luck with your solar project. You can always write to me. I'm at john at mysolarhome.us. I can help you. Uh, comment below. Please subscribe. Appreciate you watching and have a great day.